the newest star shines a little brighter. In England, the 15-year-old star did shine bright bright enough for the aspiring stars in West Texas to take that twinkle and use it as motivation into their own game. That's insane. She is, it's just incredible that somebody like basically pretty much my age is out there playing Wimbledon. That is, I don't know, that's really cool. And she's beating name, like players, we all know these players, Venus Williams, the Williams sisters, we all know them. And it's so cool that she's going out and playing competitively in Wimbledon at 15. I think it's always great to see. I've been a, I've been a coach for 33 years, and uh, it's always great to see young talent come out because it really gives kids a little bit of someone to, to relate to. They say the stars at night are big and bright, especially deep in the heart of Texas. Here in deep Texas, the future stars are seeing the ones who are bright and taking their game to the next level. It's really very inspire, inspiring. It makes me want to go practice and get work hard. And I mean, if she can beat someone like Venus, like surely I can go and like practice hard enough to win my next tournament or my next match or something. The more I play, the more I love it. Just like seeing that like jump of like improvement, it's just it's the best feeling ever. It's like oh, my forehand's like getting more consistent. I can hit it harder, and then. Once it, especially when that starts showing whenever you're in tournaments and everything, like working your way up like ladders, whether it be like at school or something, it's really, it's really fun. When we start working with kids on game plans and trying to learn how to play, you know, they pick their favorite player. Every time I work with my kids, I say, hey, who's your favorite player? Who do you want to be like? And I think it's a big factor in their, in their growth and development. What these young athletes see on the big stage, they bring to their own game and even into life and become stars even off the court. I, I, have, I wear many hats, uh, but my, my most favorite hat is a hat as a coach and a mentor. And to, the, the most in, enjoyable thing you can do is watch someone progress from uh, the beginning to the end of their career and see how they grow. And that's, that's part of the process too, is it not everybody's going to make the pro tour, but the lessons you learn on the court can create the opportunities for you to be a successful person. When Venus lost to Coco, she said the sky is the limit for the young, talented star. And Collins believes that liftoff starts at home. The thing that was really interesting is her support unit of her family was probably one of the most inspiring elements of the whole situation. I mean, this girl was clearly dominating at a very young age. But watching her parents and how they interacted with her and how positive they were and excited to see her success just kind of inspired everybody around her. Everyone around Coco and around West Texas as well. It makes me super excited to see her have that kind of confidence. So when I come out here and I play my matches, I want to have that kind of confidence because that is truly awesome. Confidence passed along from stars from afar to future stars that are near. And soon it will be them who shine big and bright deep in the heart of Texas.